Hello, welcome to my own server. Uh, today we're going to be looking at XAMPP for Linux 1.7.2 in a Ubuntu 9.04. Uh, we're going to install this and here's how we do it. We're going to start by opening a session of Terminal and then uh, I assume you've already downloaded your package. If you haven't, uh, pause the tutorial and go do so now because you'll need it on your desktop. To start with, we're going to go CD desktop. All right, and now we're going to log in as the uh, super admin by using sudo s. And normally you'll have to uh, enter your password, but I've already done so. So uh, next we need to uh, untarb all that uh, file. So we use trxvfz. And now I'm going to press tab to finish typing all that. That's a really cool trick in Ubuntu on the command line. And then we're going to do minus C, a new forward slash opt, and then press enter. Now, as you can see, it's un, uh, untarballing everything, so it'll take just a minute. All right, now that that's done, um, we're ready to go ahead and start XL. So we're going to do that with a command op well, and then start and everything should start just fine alright and it did so uh, now what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and open up our browser and we're going to go to localhost and then press enter. Alright, now it comes up with this and you need to choose your language. And now uh, now we're in the panel for uh, exam. And we're going to go ahead, we'll look at security. They'll say everything is unsecure. If you're going to be using that locally, that's fine. But uh, if you're planning on making this go public, this is a good place to start at securing it. But it's not the only place to secure it. Uh, there's a lot more steps to really making it secure if you're going uh, public with this server. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click copy on this and then we're going to open up our uh, panel again and you will need to be the uh, root admin again. And you control V oh, right click paste. I don't know what the paste line is for, uh, for this. Alright and now we go ahead and start setting up the passwords. Alright, and we want to uh, turn this off. Like I said, if you're running XAMPP locally, you don't have to worry about doing this. Alright, so yes, we need to set a password for PMA. You can set that to just whatever you want. All right, now the root password. This is something you need to very well make sure that you remember. And pick a good password. Oh, and 123456 is not a good password. I'm just using that for the sake of the tutorial. All right, um, yes, we'll go ahead and change that. Alright, and now you're done. So now when we go back here and then we click refresh, we're going to be prompted for a username and password. The username is always going to be LAMP. And then the password is whatever you said. I think it was the first password that we set. Alright, and now it says uh, we've logged back in. So now we go to uh, security. And everything is showing to be secure. So that is how you begin it. All right, now I'm going to show you real quick where your uh, HD Docs folder is so you can get started uh, adding content. You go to Computer, File System, Opt, Lamp, and right there is your HD Docs folder. And now you just add your content into here and you will be good to go. Now if you have any trouble with permissions, because sometimes since you used uh, 
like for instance let's copy this over here it says uh, it says permissions denied I'm gonna show you how to fix that real quick since my username is my own server I'm gonna go ahead and open my terminal window back up and then we want to make sure you're the sudo user and then you're gonna do uh, change uh, ownership and then you're gonna type in your username And then we'll go ahead and do uh, recursive, so we'll change the ownership of every folder in there. And then we'll do op lamp and ht dots. It's mommy All right. And now that just changed. Uh, now that just changed every the ownership here of this uh, ht docs folder. So now I can copy any of my files over here to it. And I don't have any trouble, as you can see. So that's how you change that. And the same goes for all these. If you don't use the uh, recursive uh, directive, the minus capital R, then uh, it'll only change it for htdocs, and then you won't be able to alter anything in uh, XAMPP. So you can also consider that for security reasons to uh, not change the ownership of uh, the XAMPP subfolder. So there you have it. That's how you use uh, install. Uh, XM 1.7.2 for Ubuntu 9.04